If you are serious about growing your e-commerce business, then how you connect Shopify to your Google Merchant Center is as important as running the Google Ads itself. Most business owners make one of these two mistakes. They connect Shopify to Google Merchant Center with a simple spreadsheet, causing many errors right away, or they just use a simple app that comes with many limitations to optimize for extra profit from your Google Ads. So in this video, I'm going to show you the best way how you can connect Shopify to Google Merchant Center on complete autopilot. This will ensure that you're driving the high highest return on ad spend and ultimately scaling Google Ads with the right foundation. All right, without further ado, let's dive right into my screen. So here we are in my screen. The very first step is actually to install the Multifeed app. I will leave a link for you in the description. Uh, then you need to copy the My Shopify code right here from your URL and paste it to install the application. Then you press install and then you go to a page that looks like this. And then we press continue without Google account right now. We can connect the Google account later on. And then we are going to actually make the first feed. So what does feed mean? This is a group of product with information that we are going to push from Shopify to your Google Merge Center on complete autopilot. And it will run every 24 hours automatically. And then we click here, proceed without Merchant Center account. Then we select primary. Then we give this feed a name, so like that. And then we make sure to select TSV right here. So we press for now next. Then we make sure to select the right feed language and the right currency right here. Uh, if you have multiple currencies and multiple languages, uh, I would also suggest to adjust the URL expression right here. So then you press edit and then you add the variables such as a language subpop, or add currency parameter. Uh, but for this store, we just only have one currency and one language, so we don't need to do so. Then we scroll down a little bit and then we see target countries. Uh, this is a very important step. And for each target country that you are going to sell to, we need to add a feed label right here. So for this partner, we are going to sell in Netherlands and Belgium. So we press here, add feed label, and then we include Belgium as well. And if you want to see all the right feed labels, I will leave a link in the description as well that you can click on uh, to see the right feed labels. And the bonus content looks like this. Uh, so you can see here and click on the link for the feed labels uh, that is ultimately on my website. And this is a very important step that you need to have right. So make sure to check that document out. So now that we have Netherlands and Belgium implement here, we can press next. Then we double check if everything here, but most of the time it's uh, already by default correctly. Then we press next. Everything here is correctly. We press next. Uh, for this partner, they are selling in a specific niche. So if you are only active in a certain niche for your category, you need to make sure that you select the right one right here. And if you implemented your product types in the Shopify section, uh, you can leave this as it is. But for example, if you're only selling fashion or jewelry, you need to make sure that you implement uh, the high commas like this, the quotation marks, and then implement the right category for you. But for now, we already leave it as it is. So then we press next. Uh, for here, the age group is quite important uh, to have less errors in the merchant center. So you start again with high quotation marks. Uh, this website is selling for adults only. The condition of the products is new. Uh, there is no specific gender, so we leave it open. And this is also an important step when it comes down to the color and the sizing. Uh, to change the color variable name, you press here on this a label and then we need to make it into the right language so this website is in dutch so i make it clear uh, but you need to do this for whatever language uh, you're pointing out towards the color on the product page then we add edit option and we do the same for dimension uh, this is actually math so then we add edit option uh, if you have any sizing system as if you're selling fashion you do high quotation marks and sell the right um, select the right uh, language or the right countries here uh, but for now, we don't need that. And also the size types, high quotation marks, you can do regular, petite, whatever. Uh, if you're selling fashion right here, uh, the other things are not really important right here. So for now, we just press next. So a quick side note right here about Multifeed. Multifeed is actually free if you're just starting out and you have a very small e-commerce website, but it's gonna cost a few dollars a month to literally do everything on autopilot, synchronizing all your products from Shopify to your Google Merchant Center. So this is by far, from my six years of e-commerce experience, the best app to get this job done. And the other question I get all the time 
is why we don't use Symprosis, but why is Multifeed better? And Multifeed is much better because you can add unlimited countries, unlimited uh, languages, and unlimited currencies. So you can literally target the whole world leveraging Multifeed in your Google Ads account as a solid foundation to connect your Shopify store to your Google Merchant Center. And that's the reason why it's much better than any alternative as of right now. And also a little bonus here in the document that I added with the link in the description, and that is a custom label. So let me copy and paste the custom label and explain you why we do so. We implement that in custom label zero, and this is a little uh, hack actually for adding custom labels in your Google Ads. Because the moment you are going to generate data, uh, you can see exactly which product pricing is bringing you the best profit. So you see here we have from selling price 30 euros to 50 euros, 50 euros to 100 euros and 100 euros above. So if you have a certain collection that's doing really well, you can see which price range is specifically doing well to zoom in extra on the profitable product. So we have over 100 Google Ads clients live and we leverage this hack in almost all of these accounts. So that's a little bonus tip from my experience for you exactly. So go in the link in the description to get this code there as well. Uh, for now, we press next. Uh, scroll down here to check all settings. We see that Netherlands and Belgium shipping method is automatically imported from Shopify. So that is great. So then we press next. For the tax, we don't need to send anything up. And for custom, also not. And for the local tab, also not. So now we press next. And then we press save at the top right here. And then we want to make sure to uh, not run the feeds yet. We first want to connect our Google account. So pin the multi feeds actually at the top, go to the menu right here, and then we're going to connect our Google account. So you connect Google account right here. Make sure to like the, select the right one uh, with the Gmail that you created your Merge Center account on. Uh, then you press continue. Uh, we give it all permissions to connect automatically because every 24 hour um, Multifeed is going to collect all data from your products and send it back to uh, Multifeed and the Google Merchant Center. So you see now that we connected the account successfully. Uh, let's check the, double check the settings. Uh, we select the right um, Google Merchant Center and then we press save. And then we go back to the settings right here. Uh, then we go into the feed again, and we are going to connect the um, right merchant center. So now that we see that our merchant center appears right here, uh, we're going to change this TSV to API and just save it. Now we save it here, and now the connection will automatically take place. So we implement run feed right here as well. So then yes, please. So now we see that the feed request is enqueued. So this will make sure that your products will automatically be synchronized every single day from Shopify to Merchant Center. And this is very important because the Merchant Center data is ultimately going to be pushed to Google Ads. And if you have the right information in your Google Ads, you will literally make more profit than anyone else who don't have this foundation set up. So that's ultimately already how you connect uh, your Shopify to your Google Merchant Center. So if you go to your Merchant Center account, uh, it will take around 15 minutes uh, to actually show up. And if you want to see where that is adding, we already see that we are adding the products right here. And if you want to see the full results, you go on the gear icon and then you go to data source. And then you see the data source, the feed label Netherlands and Belgium is already added. So using this strategy, you can select the right feed label in your Google Ads account as well. Uh, this will take around one or two hours for all the products that are being pushed. So right now you see product zero, and from there it takes around one to three days for Merchant Center to actually verify your products in the first place. If everything is according to the rules and the regulation, then they double check your website. And from there you can connect uh, the Merchant Center successfully to your Google Ads account. Uh, to connect the Google to your Merchant Center and your Google Ads account, you go to the gear icon and then you press uh, apps and service. And then you press here add service and you can connect your Google Ads account right there. I always recommend to make the Google Ads account on the same email as your Merchant Center. So it's easily to synchronize right here. So, and that wraps up the video, how you can connect Shopify to your Google Merchant Center on complete autopilot as a successful foundation for your Google Ads. Make sure to watch the recommendation video after this, where I guide you step-by-step step to my Google Ads tutorial, how you can launch your very first and profitable Google Ads literally from today. And if you need any help along this process, make sure to click the link in the description where you can book a personal call with me, guiding, launching, 
and successfully scaling your Google Ads for your e-commerce store. My name is Robin and I see you in the next video.